hey guys uh, welcome back once again to my youtube channel i hope everybody is doing well i am right now on board the ship and i hope everything back there in my motherland in india and especially in kolkata i hope everybody is doing well everybody is taking proper precautions against the covid uh, the outbreak uh, i am not sure about what is the scenario back there in india right now or in kolkata but i hope things are uh, taking for a better turn so anyway so today's video is all about the accommodation tour uh, in my last video you saw the exterior accommodation of the ship and in today's video i will show you around inside the accommodation so there is the uh, there are many things to see here i will start from just outside my cabin then then i will go uh, one deck by deck i will show you the galley Uh, and then i will show you the different meet rooms and a uh, little bit of uh, here and a little bit of there and that i hope you will like this video so let's go down with it so this is my deck this is the e deck i live in the e deck and uh, there is this is the elevator uh, that it, it connects all the decks so and this right here is the officer recreation room uh, so this is the only thing to see in this deck i will start from here itself so here it's 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 3 3:40 in the afternoon and this is what it looks like inside for the officer recreation room there are sofas there is there is a bar counter over there and uh, there is a tv a uh, vcd player and there are speakers as well so it's a pretty good setup and uh, now sometimes officers come here in the evening uh, they they use they sit here they chat and have a nice time but ever since the this thing came on board this thing and this things it, these all you know they are are all gone those days are gone so ever since internet has come on board you know, people just stay in their cabins itself and they keep connected to their families and all i'm not saying that's a bad thing or something of course uh, i uh, <laughs> i myself am all the time connected to my uh, family back there but uh, yeah, I'm, i'm just saying the earlier days what used to happen there was no internet on board there so people used to come here and they used to sit and chat and smoke drink and they used to spend lovely evenings here so this this was the officer recreation room and the Yeah, there's 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 a router as you saw here. There's a router here. There's a uh, one router here, and one each in captain's cabin and chief engineer's cabin, and one router is in the crew mess room. Uh, sorry, crew recreation room. There's another recreation room for the crew for the ratings, uh, and there is a root router there as well. And uh, yeah, there there are only four, and the one more is there in the owner's cabin. I'll show you that also. So let's get uh, go on. Every deck you will go, you will find uh, something like this. It is in index of that particular deck. So, for example, in E deck, these all uh, stores and rooms and cabins are there. And you will find a similar thing in the elevator as well. Officers who stay here. This is a spare officer cabin. 
this is the electrician's cabin this is the fourth engineer and the third engineer this is a stationary locker although this is not used this is not in use and uh, there is another one in the e-deck this is a cable duct this is a cable all the cables go through in here you see this these cables are going from deck to deck and this is the room cable for the cables this is there in every deck This is the officer's laundry. This laundry is exclusively for the officers. There are this one is a washing machine and that one is also a washing machine. These two are dryers. This one is for civil clothes as you can read it here clearly civil clothes only. And this one is for the boiler suits. The idea is to, you know, the boiler suits are generally more dirty than the civil clothes, so that, that's why this 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 is a different shader to keep your civil clothes at least clean. And this is the dryer for boiler suits, and that is the dryer for civil clothes. So all you need to do is just put in your clothes. You put the soap here, and then you choose whatever option you have. And you start. And that's it. So this is an interesting thing which we follow on every ship. The, there are two different uh, garbage bins here. Red marking means plastics. Yellow marking means domestics. All other ways basically. So that is a, a good segregation which we follow on board. Uh, it's needed when we land garbage and it's, it's a very very good thing which we should follow everywhere actually. This is the iron table for officers. And basically that's it about the officer's laundry. As you can see, as I said, this is the labeling provided by the company. Red is for all plastics. Blue is for food waste. You will see that in the galley. And yellow is for domestic. And there are others as well. Here is one thing, one interesting thing. And uh, the last to last captain, what I hear here is uh, Last to last captain used to uh, be a big fan of boxing. So there used to be a, a punching bag over here and the gloves as well, but the punching bag is gone, but the gloves are still there. Anyway, let's move on to the below deck. So up till the deck, the officers were there. Now we are going to the sea deck. From sea deck onwards, the 18th of crew accommodation starts. This is the entire sea deck. That's AB2. That's his right here cabin card. So every cabin which is occupied will have a cabin card like this. It is my duty to update these. Uh, this is the name, his rank, his uh, emergency station duty, and his abandoned ship duty clearly given. Everybody has separate separate duties. As you can see this is AB1. His duty is different from AB2. And this is the master list. Here also all the duties are given here. So say for example AB2. AB2 is steering. And as we saw in, in his cabin car also his duty is steering. So this should match. I update this. It is my duty to update as and then crew change is happening. Okay, this is the chief cook. This is the oiler or the motorman. These are also oilers. And now let's go to the extreme port side. There we will have the crew recreation room. And similar to what we had in the officer recreation room. See, this is the crew recreation room. This is bigger than the officer's one. Here people play cards, smoke. This is a chess table provided by the owner. 
it's a dark table. You know, as I said, that earlier days there used to be a lot of fun, a lot of entertainment because there was no internet on board. We had to do something. We had to, we had to have something to, you know, enjoy or something like that. Okay, this is a very nice thing. I, I love this thing. They have made a, uh, this, this thing is coming up. So anyway, so they have made a replica of this ship. So you might be wondering why this name is there because this was the earlier earlier to earlier name this ship was first named as asiatic spring then came the uasc umm qasr then it was named to cmax niantic and now again it has name is changed just last month in the month of june to zimmer winter so this is a replica of the ship beautifully built by uh, someone i don't know who but it was it was very nice very nicely made. Such detail. <laughs> so anyway, and that's a warship replica as well. Somebody used to do this, I guess. Who was expert in this? He only did it. So that's the TV and the piano. Many things are here. And there is a router as well. This is the router for the crew mess crew recreation room. So that was the crew recreation room. Okay, every deck will have on both the sides, one on the extreme starboard and one on the extreme port, a watertight door. So when you open this, it goes outside. Let's see. You can go outside from there. So you see that. And, and this is the inside accommodation. So these these are watertight doors, these are rubber packings all around. These will prevent water from coming inside. Okay, so now we will go to the next deck, that is the B deck. deck that door straight leads to the lifeboat this B deck also has crew accommodations and this is the specialty of B deck as the hospital the hospital is locked right now the key is with second officer I will show you in another video inside of the hospital so there are basically first aid kit a stretcher a bed oxygen these things are there inside the hospital Second officer looks after the maintenance of the hospital. There are some crew here as well in the feeder. His room is this. This is a spare cabin. This is the messman of the steward. This OS number two. Lovely thing. So these all are there in this. So the, all the crew accommodation, they all are end at the B deck, B deck to G deck is all the officers and the crew accommodation and A deck has only uh, the public spaces. Okay, so this is the first thing I will show you in A deck, that's the gymnasium of the ship. This is the gym of the ship. Don't have many equipments, but you know, for regular small time gym gymming, these things are enough, I guess. We have this. We have barbells. And we have a few dumbbells as well. A few weights. We have a cycle and a treadmill and a TT table. I play TT sometimes with other members as well here. So this was the gymnasium. Pretty small and neat and clean. Anyway. Now we will go to the crew mess room where the crew eat.
this is the crew mess room. The ratings of the crew, they all dine here. There is a, a RO uh, filter machine here for drinking water. And this is the other tables. This is a kettle, electric kettle and a, and a microwave. A toaster machine and few coffee and tea kept here. These are the cupboards. The crew generally use their own plates and spoons and bowls and they all keep it here. So this is the crew pantry and uh, generally the food for the crew is kept over here. There is also another officer's pantry that side. So and these are the wash patients for the crew side. And this is the galley or the kitchen of the ship. It's a big one. There are four hot plates here. The food is cooked over on in, on these hot plates. And the extinguisher system for these are inside there. So if there is any fire which gets out of control, uh, you can uh, this this uh, this is the extinguisher system for them. It will directly pour the extinguisher on top of the hot plates and it will extinguish the fire. This is a food comminuter. Uh, it uh, it uh, grinds all the food uh, garbage inside. It uh, compresses and compacts them, and it uh, takes out a very fine form of that uh, garbage, the food waste, very particle form, which can be thrown overboard and discharged into the sea. So this is this is its job. So you cannot directly throw whole materials of food garbage into the sea. So you have to compress and cut them into small pieces that, that tool does that and these these are different different knives used but generally there are color coding for the knives as well and this is the this is the uh, working area of the cook there are wash patients over here and few shelves over here for the daily use the rest of the items which are not which are not required daily are inside that uh, room there that is the dry provision store and this is it this is the baking for baking provided here two big ba baking uh, ovens this is the fridge for the galley see this is the fridge inside the galley And this is a dough machine for preparing the dough. Uh, roti roti banane ke liye it easily ha half ho jata. It's a very high class equipment. And as as I said before, in all the places there is segregation of garbage here as well. You we'll find food waste garbage in blue colored here. So food waste are generally in the pantry and the galley. And this is the officer pantry. That's the food waste uh, by big blue color. This is the officer's pantry. The fridge for the officer's pantry and the washing machines, the wash basins. That's a mineral RO filter. And that one is the hot water for hot water. There's a temperature set here. Anytime you open this knob and you get hot water all the time. inside the dry provision store so the food the raw materials the spices the all the dry stuff they all are kept in this room the meat and the cold stuff they are all kept over there we will show you that as well these are the creamers for coffee this is cornflakes biscuits muesli vinegar oil jam butter and lots of stuff lots of stuff and this this is a very you know interesting thing we we have here a lot of things a lot of stuff it's come in bulk see this is pork meat that's sardines 
chicken meat all sorts of stuff in here now we will go to the vegetable store ok so these are the cold rooms you see cold chamber there are three chambers inside one is the vegetable and the fish and the meat because they are they are susceptible susceptible to rotting uh, that's why they need to be kept in cold chambers inside this chamber you know, apart from the uh, meat room they are uh, the others are at uh, i mean 2 uh, degrees or 6 uh, degrees or something so there it is a very cold very cold inside the meat room itself only is kept in minus temperatures and for that we need to wear these jackets these are kept hanging right outside so when you go inside you wear those jackets and then only you go inside because otherwise you feel very cold so right now i'm not wearing it because i won't be staying for long the chief cook and the steward they need to stay long for you know taking inventories and taking out stuff they need to wear that because it's it's not it's not recommended to stay inside with the cold with in without the jackets so anyway let's move inside this is just the entrance that's the meat room this is the fish room and that is the vegetable room let's go one by one this is the vegetable room all sorts of vegetables are kept in here this is cabbage pumpkin carrots eggs pineapples tomatoes all sorts of there are kept in here milk is also here dairy products are also here this room temperature is the least compared to the rest there are juices here as well as i said uh, these things come in bulk so we all we pick up once when we order for food provisions they give us in bulk and then we use them for 15 days or months and this is the temperature sensor it is sensing how much is the temperature and it is showing there to the outside let me see where is the temperature where the temperature is not showing here there must be another panel somewhere else which shows the temperature this is a very interesting thing and very essential thing whenever you are entering this chambers and if you did not lock as you if you might have noticed when i came inside i locked it uh, uh, with the door because if you if you by chance forget to lock it this due to rolling this door you know shuts and then it sometimes it does not open due to some pressure or there might be a mechanism inside it does not open so once you have to press this this thing you have to press you have to press and then only open if by chance you cannot press it and it it is it is not opening the cold inside will literally kill you within minutes the meat room will kill you instantly if you are uh, inside for within a minute you will be dead so that time what you need to do is press this this alarm when you press it will go right to the ecr and the bridge bridge is always manned they will instantly come to know that somebody is here and somebody has pressed it and he might be stuck they will immediately send help and then somebody will open it from the outside and you will be safe if you do if if i mean this thing is very very essential you know otherwise you know people inside stuck they will be dead in minutes so i am a little bit feeling a little bit chilly because you know i am just wearing this t-shirt and i am in inside so i don't i will not stay here for long that was the vegetable room now let's go to the fish and the meat room so i i decided to wear the jacket you know because it's it's a bit i i didn't you know, think it will be this cold but i you know i also 
said to myself that yeah, I'm, I'm blogging, I'm, I'm shooting videos, people are watching. What kind of an example I'm setting? So I, I decided to wear this jacket, and now I will go inside. Feel the amount of cold right from outside itself. Just look at it. Just look at it. Let's stick me too. Full freezing at freezing temperatures. Otherwise, the meat will be all all rotten. So I I made sure that I left the la door latched otherwise I'll have to press this you see the bulkheads they are lit it's so cold so these are the packet packaged meat kept here these are also meat bigger slices are here that's uh, mutton I guess This is beef, full beef pieces kept here. There are some chicken sausages here. See, chicken sausages, dal kept as frozen. Pizza, pizza base. And these are other vegetables. Very freezing. See, it's, it's that freezing inside. So anyway, uh, I will not linger around here much. So let's get out of here. Uh, feels a little bit nice. <laughs> anyway. And now I will go to the fish room. This room is very short, small, and based on the fish, this is also freezing temperature. come outside of the cold chambers now I will go up on top and then I'll show you the officer base room this right here is the officers mess room where we dine so officers have their plates the ready made set on the table the crew have to do their own it's very bad discrimination but this is how the ships work anyway so there's, there's a microwave, a toaster machine, coffee powder, there's, there's tea. So and in this company and in most of the companies, the standard ones, there is no shortage of food. So there, there are two tables here. This one is for the senior officers, that one is for the junior officers. And the captain sits over here. These are accompanied by Chief officer and chief engineer, second engineer, and we junior officers, we sit here. This is 
is the water dispenser and there are cupboards and one good thing which I wanted to show you is this thing all ships have this training manual in one in the officer mess room another will be in the crew mess room so what it has is everybody needs to read this and sign this but they have it's read and understood it is just a training manual for all the life saving equipment which are there on board so there is there is description about airline walkie talkies there is a description about life rafts life boats life jackets everything okay, i will show See this, this, this right here shows uh, lighting. As you can see, this is the light port hook arrangements. How to, how to reset and how to release. This is all mentioned here. The training manuals for everybody to read. So anyway, this is the ships office or ballast control room also known as the cargo control room this is the ship's control station the cargo control station basically uh, this area is more of the chief officer's war office you can say he sits here he plans cargo and ballast these two these two machines are generally used for cargo planning and uh, you know, tanks and the ballast water which we take in this is the cctv footage of the gangway areas the cameras are different at different places this pc over here this controls the reefer containers which are on board it, it is monitoring them how much is the temperature in those reefer containers you can monitor them remotely from here he has some walkie talkies for use kept for charging and a small fridge and all the files and folders of all kind of work are kept here organized and these are the manuals of the ship the drawings different different drawings for different different places equipment all kept here and this is a fan control switches for the cargo hold so right now these fans are working, they're running. The rest are not working. So this is the this is the remote control area for those fans. And this table is generally used for the visitors. When any any visitor, any port authorities come, they, we don't let them inside here. We we let them sit here and we discuss, interact with them here. So this was the ship's office. And in this deck, we have a unique thing. It is the fire control and safety plan. Similar one is there on the bridge as well. So it shows the whole layout of the ship and where and which place exactly that location of those firefighting appliances and the life saving appliances. This is the legend of that. Say for example, let's check a portable foam extinguisher. There are total 56 portable foam extinguishers. In which deck, if it's an accommodation, upper deck, A deck, B deck, it will be there. How many? 8, 7, 4. The exact location will be given over here. This is the upper deck. This whole area is the upper deck right from the bow to the stern and this is the big D deck, E deck and where exactly E deck these extinguishers are it's here in location next I will go to the upper deck which is the last deck in the accommodation area and below upper deck is the engine room this is the upper deck this is the main entrance from the outside so when, whenever anybody comes from outside uh, these two are the entrances for them 
right from the jetty to the ship. This is uh, a changing room for the officers and this is the changing room for the crew. So everybody has their own designated lockers here uh, with their ranks written. So pe I mean people before going to deck, they come here, they change into their boiler suits and then they go on deck. The safety shoes are also kept nicely, properly clean, tidy. And this is my locker. Helmet, raincoats, everything kept here for ready use. And on this side we have the fire control station or sometimes known as the emergency headquarters. Most of the firefighting equipments are kept inside this room. So this is one fireman outfit locker. This is number one. Another one is in the steering gear room. And this is a chemical protective equipment locker. So inside this locker there are two SCBA or breathing apparatus. And I will show about these uh, firefighting appliances, the different firefighting appliances which are there on board in a different video in detail. Right now I am just showing uh, only uh, briefly. And this is basically the fire control station. And that's it. That's uh, more of the you know upper deck. That's all is there in the upper deck. And these are few lockers for different stores and this is one elevator machinery room so the elevator this fully and lever system is here in this room and its control switches are inside here for troubleshooting so that's all is there in the upper deck below this deck is the engine room i will show the engine room in detail in another video right now we are only left with the senior officers deck that is the F deck and the G deck I'll quickly cover them we are going to the F deck now the senior officers deck the F deck uh, the second engineer and chief officer stay here and also the owner the owner's cabin is given here this is the second engineer's cabin That's the chief officer's cabin. And this is the owner's cabin. A separate cabin given for any representatives who come from the owner's side. And this is a router given for the owner people once they come. Lastly, the last accommodation deck is the big deck or the captain's deck. This is the G deck, that's the chief engineer's cabin. it guys that was it about today's video and 
I, I hope you saw everything that is there on board the ships, the inside of the accommodation. This is all there. And <clears throat> I hope you like this video. And uh, this is more generally the general layout and, and, and every ship. They are all the same, a little bit different here and there. This is my cabin, my cabin card. And uh, yeah, that, that was that about this video. I hope you like this video. And stay tuned for more videos like this. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.